Stacy Moss, an attorney at the law office of Brian Fagan. Today, I want to talk to you about how evidence is used in a domestic violence divorce case. If you or someone you know is experiencing any type of violence, please know that we are here to help you. And hopefully this short video will help you as well. It is important to know if you are being abused, the judge assigned to your case is on your side. He or she has governed over domestic violence cases before and knows how alleged abusers behave and act. Most judges understand the nature of how evidence is presented in a trial or hearing and how sometimes that can help an abusive spouse and hurt the abused spouse. Abusers can convince the abused spouse that no one will believe them. Please know that you will have the opportunity to explain your side of the story and know that judges do not take these types of situations lightly and thoroughly review all of the evidence presented to them. A standard method abusive spouses will utilize in hearings or trials is to take the pressure off of them, is to attempt to deflect the attention onto you. Do not be surprised if your spouse attempts to argue that you have also engaged in domestic violence. Judges have a keen eye for this type of behavior to ensure it does not impact their final decision making in your case. A judge will do their best to figure out if any of the acts of violence are part of a larger pattern of emotional or physical abuse. Overall, the judge will need to determine how controlling the abuse has been towards you and your child. If it is clear your spouse is using abuse to control you and your child, and it has been occurring for an extended period, then a judge can make a fair decision in your case. But even if it is not clear, you might be able to tell a judge of repeated instances of violence you have suffered at the hands of your spouse. If all your spouse can come up with are some scratches suffered when you were attempting to fend them off of you, you should not worry about these allegations that you were the aggressor in the relationship because the judges have seen these cases before and understand how abusers operate. Hopefully, now you have a better understanding of domestic violence divorce cases. And as I mentioned previously, we are here to help you. So please call us today. Do not wait if you or someone you know is being harmed. Let us be the advocate you need to stand up to your abuser. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on post notifications for our YouTube channel.